Hi, 8th graders, it's Mrs. Bennett. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the library's webpage that has been customized for your first aid project. Your health teacher has hopefully at this point provided you the link um, to this library webpage. It's set up pretty um, simply. So the homepage of the webpage brings you to your topics. You can also access your topics by hovering over the topics page. And you'll see that each page is set up the same exact way. So if we go to anaphylactic shock, you'll see that we give you the title, we give you our database and eBooks passwords, we give you a box that is filled with articles, a box that has relative, or related eBooks, and then our two database boxes. If we maybe jump to Burns, you'll see it's set up the same exact way. Title, database and eBook passwords, articles related to Burns, eBooks related to Burns, as well as the two databases. Um, and so if I go back to anaphylactic shock, just to use that as our example, on the left are our articles, the center are eBooks, the right are databases. The intent for this library webpage is really just to get you going with your research. Um, your health teacher will talk to you about how many sources you're required to have. Um, so your sources can come from anywhere. This is really just a place to help you get started. And so some of the information is very specific to the exact first aid event, but other times they're more broad to talk about perhaps an allergy or anaphylaxis. So it's more broad and it, within each article it will discuss first aid associated with it. And there are a variety of avenues to take each topic. And so that's why when curating and collecting all of this content for you, I kept it pretty broad. And then if you need more specific content, you can explore our eBooks. You can also explore our databases or you can be finding your own sources. Remember that you want to think about source credibility and validity, as well as the date that it was written, especially for first aid topics. There may be more current practices out there. One thing to really be sure of, kids often breeze right by this database and eBooks password. If you are using your own device, or if you are using researching at home, outside of school, any of these database articles or eBooks are going to prompt you for a password. This document, excuse me, these slides here will walk you through what to do. This document here will provide you with the usernames and passwords. So again, if you are researching on the guest network with your own device, or you are at home researching, you will need these two documents to help enter in the username and password when prompted. Um, and that's what I have for you. In addition to the research resources, we also have a tab here walking you through creating your Works Cited page because you are doing research, so yes, you need a Works Cited page. I will work with your health teachers to talk about your source credibility, as well as your works cited um, formatting. I almost said foundations, but I knew that wasn't right. So your works cited formatting, as well as the credibility of your sources. And the video lessons tab will have this video on it, as well as citation videos. Today is Thursday, March 25th. I plan to, by the end of the day tomorrow, have all of those citation videos loaded on this video lesson tab for you. As always, you can reach me via email address, cbennett at londonderry.org. With any of your research questions, I'm also available during afternoon Get Set to help you with your research or your Works Cited page. Hope you all are doing well and see you soon.